Hi, my name is Tom. I'm an Ableton certified trainer. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the new features in the auto filter in Live 12.2. So since the 12.2 beta came out and I've been playing around with the auto filter, all I want to do with this is make kind of funky French house music because um, there's some really fun things that you can do with the new features in, in auto filter. Mm -hmm. So I've got kind of the start of a track going here and we're going to take a look at how we can make all of these parts a little bit more interesting using the auto filter. So I'll start off, we've just got a loop that we're going to start off with here. And I've got this keys part that we are going to put auto filter on and make it sound a little bit more interesting. So let's load up the new auto filter onto that track. Cool. So you can see that there's a sort of slightly new design to the auto filter. Looks a lot slicker. There's a lot of different sections that we're going to get into um, and various different things that you can, can do within it. So for these particular chords, what I want to do is switch over to the new comb filter mode. And you'll hear why in a moment. So when I switch over to comb filter, I'll play the sound and then pull this filter frequency down. What you should hear is I get that kind of phasing effect on the chords. Now, as soon as I stop moving the frequency control, you kind of lose that effect a little bit. So what we want to do is modulate this using the LFO. So I've got the LFO here, and I'll just apply a bit of modulation to it. Turn the rate down a little bit. And you hear I've got that sort of phasing sound. It's like kind of a classic part of that sort of French house sound. To take this one step further, what we can also do with the LFO here is we can set a phase offset between two different LFOs to add stereo spread to the sound. So using this control over here, as I turn that up, you should hear that I now have two LFOs moving in the different uh, left-right channels that create this kind of wider stereo sound. It's a really nice and kind of easy way to add some stereo width to your sound. So let's load another auto filter onto this device. And now I want to use the new resampling mode. So in that sort of old school kind of 90s era French house, they were using a lot of old school samplers that had these kind of low bit rates. And you get this sort of ringing bit crushed sound uh, on a lot of the sounds that you hear from that era. So this resampling filter that's new in, in auto filter is kind of somewhat like a bit crusher. And so you'll hear if I like really pull this down. It sounds like that sort of sound you might be familiar from uh, the Redux device in Ableton, but it sort of works in slightly different ways. And we can, of course, use all the sort of bits of, of the auto filter, like the LFO, to modulate this. But for now, what I want to do is I'm going to set this to sort of somewhere around 12,000 hertz. And it's just going to add that kind of subtle ringing characteristic. That just gives that like kind of retro vibe to these chords. Okay, so let's bring in another element. I'll bring in the next part of this track, which has got a bass on it. So of that bass. So we can make this bass part a little bit more interesting as well using the auto filter. And there's a couple kind of things that we can do here. The first is to switch into the new vowel mode. And immediately, you can hear how that's changed the sound. And if I adjust this pitch control, how it has that kind of vocal, vocoded sort of tone to it, which again is kind of classic uh, part of that sort of French house sound. Here what we can do is we can start to use this envelope control to apply a bit of envelope modulation to the filter. So what this does is this follows the volume envelope of the incoming signal and applies that as modulation to the filter. You should start to hear what that sounds like. And we can adjust the formant and morph controls to kind of change the sound a little bit. Morph will add a bit of body here. Let's hear what the formant does. You 
here it gives it that really kind of vocal quality. And maybe we even apply a little bit of the LFO. To create some kind of movement on this bass. We can use the drive control and the filter to give it a little bit more kind of distortion. And even turn on the clipping here, which prevents it from going above zero dB. So you can hear how it's added a little bit of kind of movement. It's taken off some of the bass, which kind of make, gives it a bit more of a plucky, sort of funky sound. So maybe we just want to turn it up in the mix a bit. But let's drop another auto filter on this. And what we're going to do in this auto filter is we'll use the sidechain section to have the keys modulate what's going on with the bass. So if we open up the sidechain section of the auto filter here, we can set an external sidechain. And this uses an external uh, source, so another track in live, to modulate the filter. So from this list, we'll choose the keys. And I'll pull the frequency all the way down on this filter. We're just going to stay in the regular kind of low pass mode for now. So we shouldn't hear the bass at all. But as soon as I turn up this envelope control, you can start to see that the filter is moving based on the kind of volume of the keys. At the moment, it's sort of not moving enough. So we need to increase the gain of this sidechain input to get a little bit more envelope on it. So I can start to turn this up. Now you can start to hear every time the keys play, it sort of filters up the bass. And this gives it this kind of really interesting sort of tight rhythmic effect where the bass is sort of locking to the rhythm of the keys, which is pretty fun. So let's move on to the next section. I've got a section with some guitar over here. The guitar is a little bit sort of static. There's not much movement to it. So again, let's use the auto filter to make this a little bit more interesting. I'll load up the auto filter and switch to the new notch plus low pass mode. And I'll pull this down and add a bit of resonance to it. Maybe we'll apply a bit of envelope as well. That kind of classic envelope followed funky guitar sort of sound and maybe a bit of LFO as well to give it some movement. And why don't we even sync this LFO to the tempo of our song? So it's kind of moving in time with the rest of our track. And to make this even more interesting, we'll switch this LFO over from phase mode to spin mode. And what this is going to do is create a stereo spinning effect with this guitar. So it's going to sound like it's kind of spinning around your head if you're listening in headphones. So I'll crank this up. We offset the two LFOs. Now if I bring back the rest of the track. You can get a guitar kind of swirling around everything else, creating this interesting stereo effect. One last thing here, what we can do is we can hop over to the main track and drop another instance of the auto filter on here and switch to the last new mode that we haven't seen, this DJ filter, which gives us a kind of classic low pass, high pass DJ filter. So if we're performing this track live, we can use it to filter down. We can filter up and do a high pass. resonance to it. And then if we double click on this control, it's going to set it back to zero, where there's no filtering applied at all. So hopefully there you can hear, just using the new auto filter, you've added a whole lot more interest and modulation and movement to the sound within this track and kind of giving it a bit more of that old school vibe.